morning class. This is Mama Do. Welcome to Mama Do Classroom. Our lesson for today is about dividing decimals with two up to two decimal places. Okay class, let us review the division equation special name. What do you call the number by which dividend is being divided? Correct, divisor. The divisor is the number by which dividend is being divided. How about this number? It is a number that is being divided. What do you call this? Correct, that is the dividend. The dividend is the number that is being divided. How about this one? It is the result obtained in the division process. Correct. It is called quotient. Quotient is the result we obtain in the division process. Okay? Any question, class? Okay, let's go now in the steps in dividing decimals. 1. Move decimal place in the divisor to make it a whole number. The same way with the dividend. Second, the movement of decimal point in the quotient is the same as in the dividend. Third, divide as a whole number. Just be careful to line up the quotient properly so that the decimal point falls into place. Okay? Okay, let us apply the rules in dividing decimal numbers. So, we have to move the decimal point two places to the right. So, from here, we need to move this. So, one, two. Okay? Another one. From the dividend, we have to move the decimal point two places to the right also. If we move the decimal point in the divisor, we also need to move uh, the decimal point from the dividend. One, two. And after that, we need to divide them like a whole number. So, here, from this point, we move the decimal two places to the right. Then, we need to divide them like a whole number. Okay, class, let us now divide like a whole number. So, we have 5,235 divided by 25. So, let us divide uh, 52 by 25. So, the answer is 2. 2 times 25, that is 50. So, 52 minus 50, that is 2. So, you bring down 3. Bring down 3. So, 23... Divide by 25 it cannot be, so the answer is 0. So 0 times 25 is 0. So 23 minus 20, 0 is 23. And after that, we bring down 5. So that is 235 divided by 25. That is 9. 9 times 25 is what? 225 so 235 minus 225 that is 10 so we cannot divide 10 by 25 so we need to add a decimal point so if we add a decimal point in the dividend we also need to add decimal point in the quotient there then add zero then bring down zero so now 100 
divide by 25 the answer is 4 4 times 25 is 100 100 minus 100 is 0 so the answer is 209 and 4 tenths any question class another example class we have divide 55 and 20 hundredths by 20 hundredths so the first thing that we need to do is to move the decimal point the decimal point two places to the right yeah there one this one second move the decimal point two places to the right in 55 and 20 hundredths this one this is the divisor and this one this is the dividend then number three place the decimal point straight up in the answer then divide like a whole number here so move the decimal point two places to the right one and two so and also in the dividend we also need to move the decimal point two places to the right then we divide like a whole number here so move the decimal point two places to the right one and two so and also in the dividend we also need to move the decimal point two places to the right then we divide like a whole number now let us divide 5520 by 20 so 55 uh, divide by 20 is 2 so 2 times 20 is 40 then 55 minus 40 is what? 5, I uh, know 5, bring down 5, then 5 minus 4 is 1. Then bring down 2. So that is 152 divided by 20 is 7. 7 times 20 is 140. So 140 minus one, 152 minus 140, that is 120. So 120 divided by 20 is 6. So 6 times 20 is 120. 120 minus 120 is 0. So now class, I want you to try this. Find the quotient. So we have here the dividend and the divisor. All to do is to write the answer here in the blank. I will give you time to think and solve the problem. Your time starts now. Okay, let us check your answer. Number one, we have 7 and 92 hundreds divided by, divide by 66 hundreds. So the answer is 12. Very good. Number two, we have 57 and 6 tenths, tenths divided by 24 hundredths. The answer is 240. Very good. 87 and 60 hundredths divided by 20 hundredths. The answer is 438. Thank you. How about 105 and 42 hundredths divided by 14 hundredths? The answer is 753. Well done. How about 58 and 20 hundredths? Divide by 12 hundredths. The answer is 485. Very good. The answer is correct. Now class, I want you to keep in mind the steps in dividing decimals. So we have number one, move the decimal place in the divisor to make a whole number. So move, uh, remember that. You need to move the decimal point or the decimal place in the divisor 
to make a whole number. Then the same way with the dividend. So if we move the decimal place in the divisor, we need to move also the decimal place in the dividend. The movement of decimal point in the quotient is the same as that in the dividend. Then number 3, divide as a whole number. Just be careful, ha, class, to line up the quotient properly so that the decimal point falls into place. Okay? Okay, class. I hope you learned something today. This is Mama Do. See you on our next lesson. Thank you. Bye.